Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install TC Admin on a Ubuntu server, which is a Linux distro. So, you might have CentOS, you might have Debian, uh, Red Hat, you know, whatever. You just follow those system requirements and this uh, installation file, then you should be good to go. Uh, so, the system requirements we're going to go ahead and open up. So, it does require uh, Mono 6.0 or greater. So if you do have Mono 4 or anything less than 6, you want to uninstall it before you install 5 or 6. And I recommend just installing it by the uh, Mono project. So if you go ahead and click on that, it will open up how to install the Mono repository on any system. So we have an Ubuntu 18.04, so we're going to go ahead and follow these set of instructions. If you have a different version, just follow those set of instructions. And if you have Debian or a CentOS, just follow those instructions on what version they are because um, you want to make sure this is installed first. So I'm going to go ahead and open up PuTTY and we're going to go ahead and connect to our development uh, VM here. Go ahead and hit yes, that's fine. And then we're going to go ahead and log in as root and then our password. All right, so once we get connected here, we're going to go ahead and run our first uh, set of commands here, which I put in a notepad document. Um, so I will have this in the uh, description of the video to kind of help you. First, you want to do any updates that are pending. Uh, so we'll go ahead and execute that command. And then we can go ahead and start the process by installing some of the pre-requests. This could take a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Uh, but like I said, if you literally just follow, if you have Ubuntu 18 and you literally follow these set of commands and just copy and paste them into the um, SSH tunnel, I mean, <laughs> you have a working TC admin. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and we'll continue when we're done. All right, it just got done. So now we're going to go to our third command here. Just copy and paste. This is going to install the mono latest version and then you're going to run these uh, commands because these are just pre-requests uh, that tsadmin recommends so we're going to go ahead and execute these commands once this is done so like I said this will take a little bit uh, to get done so I'm going to go ahead and pause it again and continue when it gets done alright that is not done so like I said we're going to go to their next step here install their certificate Run this next one. Install on the key server. Then our next one's going to be here. Then we're going to run another update command. It's going to go ahead and update the packages. Then install that. And hit yes. And the reason why we have this uh, command here again is we're going to just double check that it is installed and ready to go. Now uh, this one here is going to take a little bit long, so well, it's going actually pretty fast. Uh, I just installed this on another server and it was going kind of slow. Maybe they had a slow setup because we're actually using Vulture's uh, VPS, uh, which is a like it's almost like DigitalOcean. It's just another cloud uh, data center where you can purchase VMs and uh, not VMs but VPSs and um, VDS is like virtual dedicated machines um, but it's a great way to host websites, do development stuff, uh, host small little projects or just use it like what I'm doing just to kind of test and install, try to install something on Linux and without using my actual virtual box or you know another VMware or something else, another hypervisor. So it uh, looks like it's churning so I'm going to go ahead and pause it again and continue when we come back. All right, like I said, this one took a little bit longer, but it's now done. So we're going to copy our next command. And this is basically one that we already ran. It's basically going to check um, if it ins it's installed, and it's probably going to just let us know that it's already installed, and it's going to go ahead and skip this. So you can see um, it basically is processing, setting it up. It's already in there, so that's why it was that quick. So we need to install this next part here which is another pre-request. Go ahead and install that. 
And then once this is done, then we can go ahead and do another update. I recommend doing another update here. Uh, make sure we, we are good to go. And then we can go ahead and execute the TC admin installation, which pretty much installs it uh, ready to go. Um, so this will take just a little time. Um, but like I said, it's going to install everything automatically. And you can see, boom, it's already done. So it was that quick. So you can see the monitoring service has been installed successfully. The manager servers, as soon as you see those successfully done and then they start successfully, you're pretty good. Um, so you can do another update, but I mean, I think we're okay at this point. So let's go ahead and go to a new tab, type in the IP address of the um, server, and then you want to do colon 8880. So three eights and then a zero because that is the default port for TC admin. So we're going to put that in there and hit enter, and we should get a TC admin login screen. And if you get this, perfect. <laughs> if not, go into your Linux server, make sure Mono is installed properly, because that's usually the biggest thing I've seen. You don't have that installed. Check the logs. Um, you know, go through your due diligence on that part. But the default login is admin, and then the password is password. So let's go ahead and hit login. And there you have it, you guys. We are all logged in, and now you can go ahead and put in your TC admin license here. You make this to your master server, um, and or if you're installing a remote server, and then this is where you were typing your license key and, and activate the software. Um, go to TC admin if you need to get a trial, because they do offer a, I think, 14 or 30 day trial. I'm not sure on that, but go to their website for that information. And there you have it, you guys. This is how to install TC admin on an Ubuntu, but it's pretty straightforward installing it on a uh, Debian or CentOS, you install Mono first. Please install Mono first. Do any updates, then run the TC admin installation. And to find the different TC admin installations, just go to their website, go to System Requirements, and you can see what else they might need to be installed for those different um, Linux distros. And you just literally just follow those commands and install them. I'll go ahead and copy this and put it in the description of this video. So if you are doing Ubuntu, I'll have step-by-step -step instructions for you. Um, so you, there you guys have it. It was not too hard. Uh, just follow these instructions if you're doing Ubuntu. If not, follow, look at the documentation for uh, anyone else. Um, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.